Alright, what's up everybody? This is Drew, and I'm going to show you how to beat two insane AIs in StarCraft 2. It's an achievement in, obviously, the achievements section. You want to go to uh, Custom Game, Outmatched, and it's this right here, Outmatched 2 Insane AI, win 1v2, multiplayer game, custom game with no allies against two insane AI opponents. And I just got that yesterday, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. And it's really simple, so you're going to go to Create Custom Game. You're going to search uh, Burning Tide. Whoops, can't spell. Burning Tide. And then it'll show up all this shit. And it'll be somewhere. It's not at the top, which doesn't make any sense. Right here it is, here it is, right there. You're going to hit it, and then you're going to hit this download button. And then it should open, open oh, one. Burning Tide, open it up, and now you're gonna add two AIs, drop them to the bottom team, and make them insane. Oh, at first, first you need to go to this over here on the top, top right, and you go to custom mode, custom teams, custom team, faster, and then you can make these all insane, like so. And you want them Zerg, cause Zerg's underpowered, and you know they're just easy to beat. And you want to be Protoss. And so, I think we have everything correct. And so on this map, you start out either in these three positions or these three positions. And all this bottom ground is pretty much lava, and like and it rises up every couple of minutes, just like that one StarCraft 1 single-player mission. I think it's called Redstone or something. And it's just like that. And it's really easy. You just have to get 15,000 minerals before the enemy team does it. And versus two computers, it's really easy on, like... I just got three hard or very hard, and uh, that was pretty close. He, like I lost the first time, and then the second time I won by like a couple thousand. But we're gonna then start the game up, and the uh, plan is to just expand to the three starting points of your team team's area, and it's gonna be separated into north and south teams, and we're gonna see we're gonna s see which team we're on. I like this little thing it's kinda looks pretty cool burning tide is a team oriented greed map with dangerous twists the lava erupts every few minutes killing all units on the low ground alright so we're gonna start out you know pull in our probes make a probe and um so let me just show you the map all this low ground right here is gonna fill up with lava every couple of minutes and it'll lower back down and uh so that, may, that means that this team won't attack you and uh, up here you see all this. So we need 15,000 minerals. We are the south team, and the uh, insane AIs are the north team. Seismic activity is increasing. Caution is advised. And like I said, alert! Lava surge imminent. Evacuate low ground immediately. Yep. So the lava rises up to all of here. And then afterwards, they drop like a hundred mineral packs, if that makes any sense. And then you want to go around collecting all those. The reason I picked Protoss is solely on the Chrono Boost. The Chrono Boost is what gets you... All clear. It is now safe to proceed with mining operations. Fuck you, bitch. So you want to send a probe out. Just kind of send it around and it'll get a whole bunch of... Uh, little those mineral packs. I'll show you what they are. And also, you want to get these watchtowers. Because if you get those, it'll also show the position of the mineral packs. Which makes it a lot easier. And you only need five pylons this entire time. Because you're just going to be building probes. You're not going to be building anything else. So let's go ahead and take this watch... Oh, shit, where is it? Over here? Let's go ahead and take this watchtower real quick. See, here's one mineral patch right there. And then after we pick that up, we're going to go over here and get another expansion. Because we're starting to get a little high on the money. And I'm forgetting the Chrono Boost. So there's one. Go up here. Go ahead and build another pylon. Just because we can. And... Come on, come on, come on. Alright, so now we have our first expansion up. That's good. Right around three minutes. Always a good timing. Always chrono boost these probes. Never get supply block. That's bad. And now we're going to go over to this watchtower. Where is it? Over here. 
And just find more mineral nodes. That's what they're called, mineral nodes. And so, yeah, see, we are behind a little bit, but that's because we don't have three bases. We're going to get three bases there and there. And once we get those three, it'll easily outmatch the uh, Insane's two base. So, this is... A I kind of didn't like doing this achievement because it was just it took all the fun out. Like I like I like the challenge. Like that's part of the reason why I like StarCraft 2 achievements because they kind of gave me a challenge. But beating two insane computers is just freaking stupid. Like I I can barely beat one. Like I only beat one because every time they attacked, I just attacked them so they had to pull back and then whenever they attacked me, I just pulled back and I eventually just killed all those barracks. And you want 21 probes per... You want 21 probes per uh, mineral... Or per base. So once this, uh, all the lava is getting down... So it's 6, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So I only want 3 open spaces per uh, each base. And so once this lava succeeds, is that, a, that the word? Succeeds? Once this lava succeeds... All clear. It is now safe to proceed with there we go, that's 21. Emotions. We're gonna send these boys. I don't know why they call them boys, it's kinda gay. Remember, don't forget to chrono boost. Send this nexus over here. And is this nexus up? Oh, nope. Okay, so send your... I have this probe uh, has my hotkey too, so I can always tab to it really fast. Remember, and have all your uh, have all your uh, what the fuck they're called nexuses hotkeyed. There's always gonna be a mineral patch right here. Have all your hotkeys. What the fuck am I saying? Have all your nexuses hotkeyed so that you can you know where. Uh, your chrono or where you're baking probes or not and I can't fucking speak today so 21 right here that's good that's fully saturated maybe a little bit oversaturated because they keep moving only have three here but that's okay because they're saturating this base first and once this hits 21 we're gonna saturate the other base I'm talking too fast and we're gonna saturate the other base remember always making probes always chrono boosting go ahead and make a Make that just to make sure. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I built an extra pylon. It doesn't even matter because the uh, two insane computers cannot handle your. Oh, too many guys. We can rally them all to that base and see how this. I have three extra guys that shouldn't be there. So I'm gonna pull out three guys, send them to this base to saturate this base better, and then just chrono boost all your nexuses and. Pick up all these mineral nodes. And I'm gonna have him go over to this watchtower. Where the fuck did it go? Oh. Find out more places. And you're gonna have 64 food, or not 64, but you're gonna have close to 65 food. Uh, 60, what is it, 21? 63 food would be optimal. Because uh, that's 21 times 3, and you're gonna have 3 bases with 21 each. Let's go ahead and have this guy pick up these. And okay, so now lava's erupting, so we're gonna head and rally the, all the nexuses Seismic somewhere else. Is increasing. Caution is advised. All right, so all of our probes are off the low ground, which is good. And now you see we're pulling ahead of our uh, two insane computers. And so now we basically just sit here, like this is what we do: is sit here. Have this guy back to mining. So let's check our bases. We have 21 there. We have 28 there because I just pulled that probe back. And we have 28 here. So I built two extra probes, but whatever. Because you're going to need 64 probes because you're going to have this scouting one out picking up all these minerals, mineral nodes. And have them go over here again and then pick up this one. And then more. Nope. And then I'm going to have them go over here. And there's always a couple like over like scattered here and here and here. So now we basically just sit here until we reach 15,000. Because, like I said, 
two insane IIs off two base cannot beat our awesome, my awesome macro off three base. So now, like I've said ten times in a row, you just sit here. Remember to pick up the mineral nodes, because if you're going to do the uh, 1v3 very hard computers, you need to get these, because they're going to be at 14,000 when you're at 14,000, so you need to really pick your shit up. That didn't make any sense. But you're going to need to hustle. And uh, see, they spawn right here, here, and here. And they just won't leave their base because they're stupid and I missed the middle node. And as you see, we're at 10,000 when they're at 6. So, yep. This is still fun. I'll just chrono boost that thing like 10 times. Alright. So... Pick up that mineral node. Anything else that I missed? Nope. So whenever that siren hits, you want to put your guy up to that watchtower to get him out of the danger zone. Activity is increasing. Caution is advised. And Chrono Boost expired. Alert! Lava surge imminent. Evacuate low ground. I'm picking her nose. Oh. Lava. Uh, and what? Thirteen thousand. So two more thousand to go. Yay, we're almost done. And then, I, since I already got the achievements, you're not going to see the uh, achievements pop up here. But, um... Oh, shit. All clear. It is now Hit safe my to mic. With mining operations. There's really no point in picking these up anymore, but I'm just showing you guys. Because whenever you have uh, three very hard AI, you need to do this. You need to pick up the mineral nodes. And, uh, we're about there. And... Come on, we're about 200. Oh my god, oh my god! Congratulations, you just beat two insane AIs. Um, so that's how you beat two insane AIs. It's kind of cheating, but I don't care. And now your achievement points should pop up right here. But since I already have them, sorry. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more tutorials on how to get achievements, because I'm trying to get a lot of achievements and stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching and bye.